I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times, and this week I'm reviewing Doctor Strange, the latest origin story in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There is no such thing as spirit. We are made of matter and nothing more. You're just another tiny, momentary speck within an indifferent universe. You think too little of yourself. Oh, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. But I see through you! I pushed your astral form out of your physical form. What's in that tea? Psilocybin? LSD? It's just tea. With a little honey. As befits its title, Doctor Strange is one of the weirder, trippier Marvel comic book adaptations to date. Benedict Cumberbatch plays Doctor Stephen Strange, a brilliant surgeon who, after suffering a life-altering injury, finds himself on a curious pathway to healing and enlightenment. Before long, he has become a powerful sorcerer, studying under the Ancient One, a bald, ageless Celtic mystic played by Tilda Swinton. Her performance would be delightful if it weren't the latest example of Hollywood whitewashing a character who was written as Asian in the original source material. It's an unfortunate flaw in a movie that otherwise has much to recommend it. Cumberbatch is nicely cast as an arrogant genius who gradually realizes that there are more important things at stake than his career. So if a volume from this collection should be stolen, you'd be dead before you ever left the compound. Any late fees I should know about maiming, perhaps? And the director, Scott Derrickson, gives us some of the most kaleidoscopic, visually dazzling set pieces in the Marvel canon. Too often, superhero movies feel like business as usual. And while this one isn't perfect, it's a pleasure to see a movie that has the courage to drop a little acid. I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times.